My name is Margaret Keeler and I am the African Development Bank representative in Liberia. I belong to the um, Council on Fragile States. I would like to talk about my vision for fragile states over the next 20 year period, looking at the long term. Uh, we are in uh, a world in crisis at the moment and fragile states are already in their own set of crises. And when there is the kind of crisis that we're experiencing in the financial sector, in the economic sector, as a global crisis, fragile states will tend to suffer the most. So uh, my vision and uh, my proposal for the next 20 years to help fragile states come out of fragility is to look at how the state, the partners, will function in a new relationship. And that relationship is one where the state will be um, basically the policy maker, the regulator of a business environment that will help solve the kinds of problems that we're experiencing with the Arab Spring, such as high youth unemployment, given the fact that this group of countries have a very big, large, youthful population. So I see the role of the OECD traditional donors, given the current crisis that they themselves are going through, I see that group as pushing more the knowledge agenda, giving advice in the kinds of areas that they themselves are strong in, so that institutions in fragile states will be built. I see the second group of partners being the BRICS, the emerging economies that have a lot of capital to invest, as the group that will invest in infrastructure, be it roads, energy, technology, telecommunications, water, those kinds of investments that will assist the government in providing basic services to the people and will enable the, the business business set services to be provided. So investors can actually come into the countries to invest, especially in the extractive industries, especially in manufacturing, in those kinds of areas that um, fragile states need to grow their economies. The government then, as a regulator, a policy maker and a regulator, will promote skills training for young people Many, many young people who have come out of conflict without much education, without literacy, without the kinds of technical and vocational skills that they need in society. This is my vision for uh, the fragile state over the next 20 years. Thank you.